hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to install Odoo version 13 in ubuntu so currently in the screen you can see i have opened the terminal and in the background you can see this is the ip address that is 34.66.69.8 and the port i am going to run Odoo is 8069 so currently if i am trying to access this instance you can see there is unable to connect because i haven't installed and run odoo in that port so let's see how we can install odoo in this server in 8069 port so you know odoo 13 is only will get released by next month that is currently it's september and odoo 13 is expected to release during odoo experience in the october 2019 so let's see how we can install odoo so here in this video we will install odoo in just three clicks that is only in three steps we will install Odoo 13. So in this purpose, we will use the installation script of Yente. So the first step is what we have to do is we have to download the script, and then the next step is we have to make the script executable, and the fourth step is to execute the script. So let's start from the step one. So I'll just update the version here that is 13, and I'll copy the first command that is we have to download the script into our server so here i have opened the server in the terminal so let's start from the first step so first of all i have copied the command that is for getting the installation script so i'll just click on enter button so that you can see the script has been downloaded into the system now i'll go to the next step that is currently you know Odoo 13 has not yet released so we have to make a change so this step is i will just come to it okay so if i open that downloaded file that is i have down we have downloaded odo install.sh file and here i have to change the version you know currently here in the script the version is specified as 13.0 but you know that currently the 13.0 is not available so it will be available only on october first week in 2013 so right now i'll change it to master here as Odoo 13 is not yet released, so these changes has not need to make once after Odoo 13 get released. So this edition edit. So you can see I have downloaded the script into the server and I have opened that file that is sudo nano odoo underscore install.sh and I have made the change that is I have changed OE version to master from 13. So you don't need to make this change once Odoo 13 get released. So you can keep the OE version as master. 13.0 itself once auto get 13 get released so now i will save this control x and i'll save the changes that is i have changed the version to the master so if i open the corresponding file that is sudo nano auto install.sh you can see the updated version is master so we are going to download auto master that is currently auto 13 so once after auto 13 get released you don't want to make this change so if i go to my file you can see first of all we have downloaded the script into the server and second step that is before october 2 2019 so you have to do this step only if you are watching this video before this date so change the version to the master that's done then next step is that is third step is you have to make the file executable so you have to copy this line so i'll just copy this command so i'll select it fully okay the command is copied and now i'll go to the terminal and i'll control z and come back and i will paste the copied command that is sudo chmod plus x odo install.sh okay that's fine and we are going to the final step that is sudo dot slash odo dot install odo install dot sh that is we are executing the script for installing odo so I'll just paste the command and you, you can wait you can see in the screen updating the server and different packages will get downloaded postgres will install wkhtml install odo will get cloned from the all the steps will automatically get executed you can see Postgres is getting installed and Postgres service is getting configured. So like this, the system will automatically do everything. So first of all, you have to thank Yende for providing such a good script for automatic installation of Odoo. So if I go to the steps again, you can see first of all, what you have to do is that sudo wget and you have to download the script that is Odoo install.sh. So if you're watching the video before October 2, 2019, you have to change the version to the master. That is, you can open the file sudo nano odo underscore install.sh and change OE version to master. Only do this if this you are doing this before October 2, 2019. So if you're watching this video after October 2, 2019 or after Odoo 13 get released, no need to do this step. Then you can go directly to third step from the first step that is make the script executables. For that you can do sudo chmod 
plus x auto install dot sh that's done and finally you have to execute the script and this is the command for that so if i go to the terminal you can see it's getting installed so it will take some time to install all the python packages libraries postgres odo everything so you can wait for some time processing triggers for man tb like that everything has to be executed so just you have to make only three clicks download the script make the script executable and execute the script so right now if i go to the browser and if i try to access this this browser you can see you won't get anything because there is the process is going only we are installing odo only so we can come back to this link once after the odo get installed so right now i will go to the here itself that is you can see python install python package requirements you can see different python packages are getting installed ginger to libsas lxml Maco, everything are python packages that is requirement packages for running odoo so you can see different python packages are getting installed qr code zip everything has been getting installed so you can wait until all the packages get installed running setup.py install for lxml so you can just execute the script and you can continue your work in something if you are doing something else you can just execute this script and you can go for something okay you can see right now running setup it will take some time so you can eagerly wait until this get completed so if i go i'll take the doc here just you can go through it download the script make the script executable execute the script so if you need from the same script itself you can if you need to install odo 10 you can just open the sudo nano install.ch change the oe version to 10.0 and execute the script so if i go to the terminal again you can see still it's running setup.py install for lxml so it's running so you have to wait until everything is completed so once after everything is completed you will get a notification that everything is done this is the service and this is the custom add-on spot like that you will get the things so let's wait until everything is completed so you can see it's a setup that we buy install for LXML is going on. So if I make the script, you can see running next. Yeah, it's move to the next step. So you can you have to wait until everything has to, is completed. Setup.py install for G when is getting ongoing. So just you can put it for execute the script and you can go for a work. So once you will come back, it will get installed. So let's wait until everything is done. So currently in the screen you can see there is asking for a confirmation that is do you want to continue so you have to just enter y and click on enter button so that the process will continue so you can see uh, the system is asking whether you want to continue so what i have done is i have just entered y there and you can see the rest of the operation is getting executed so you can see python 2.7 yeah sorry python 2.7 so not python 3 and packing everything is going on so let's wait. So you can see wkhtml PDF package is getting installed. That is package for converting the HTML to PDF report. So that's done. And right now installing different fonts. You can see X fonts base is getting installed. And tapping wkhtml to X. You can see create Odoo user and create log directory installing Odoo server. You can see different messages are coming in the screen. Create Odoo system user, create log directory installing Odoo server, cloning into Odoo. You can see Odoo is getting cloned from its GitHub repository, it's compressing objects, receiving objects like that. You have to wait until everything is done.
So currently in the screen, done. The Odoo server is up and running. Specification port number is 8069. User service is Odoo. User Postgres user is Odoo. Code location is inside Odoo folder. Add-ons path is Odoo. Odoo server and add-ons. So let's see what happens right now. So if I click on this sudo service, let me check the status of the service sudo service and service name is Odoo server. Odoo server. So if I check the status of the service, you can see it's loaded and active. Loaded, it's an inactive. So let me start the service. So for starting the service, you can see start Odoo service sudo service Odoo server start. So I'll just enter the command sudo service Odoo server start. And if I check the status again, we can see it's active and running. So let me check what happens if I go to the browser right now. So I'll just go to my browser. And so this is my browser. So if I reload the screen, that is, this is my IP address 34.66.69.8069. And you can see that Odoo has been come. So I'll just create a database. So I'll give the name as Odoo13. And I'll give the name email as admin. Password will I will enter the same password admin. Phone number is not required. Country I will specify as India. 